Hey guys. Well, it is an absolutely nasty. Jesus. How did it come to this? It is Saturday, October 7th, 2023. So I am uh, driving randomly around uh, New York, baby, just to stay warm and dry. Uh, so, uh, we are, since it's Saturday, I am back on my Saturday Space Alien, uh, Chronicles, which may or may not also be showing up on this channel, Aliens and Doomers, that I need to make the, uh, I need to make my videos under 15 minutes. What kind of party is this going on? What a day to have a... <laughs> These poor guys having their big annual October fest on a day like this. I do feel sorry. Uh, I know this is a good party. But let me get into it because I was just doing uh, my video and maybe this will be part two of it about all of the unadulterated horseshit and if you ever hear any of these subjects mentioned run like hell and I was and the ones I mainly discussed in the last video were uh, anything to do with uh, alien human hybrids run like hell and anybody talking about how uh, space aliens come from a certain part of the solar system or the galaxy, unadulterated horseshit. At the very end of that video, I, uh, I mentioned that I'm not quite ready to put cattle mutilations on uh, unadulterated horseshit. They've almost made the cut to there, but I did mention at the very end of the last video that this whole rabbit hole of crop circles, uh, unadulterated horseshit, that these crop circles are being created by humans they they are uh, they are fantastic uh, I love crop circles have nothing to do with space aliens on any level and so I'm, I'm just uh, but one I would didn't have time to get into that I want to talk about briefly is channeling that if you ever hear anybody claiming that they are channeling information that they downloaded into their brain from a space alien. Uh, unadulterated horseshit. The, the, the only well, the, the, the whole Billy Meyer story uh, is one that, uh, the, the Billy Meyer story is one that I uh, still have like that, that on the fence, but the Billy Meyer information was, was not channeled from space aliens. Uh, who is that real famous one, that woman? Oh, what was that space alien's name? She, uh, I think she had two or three books. What was that guy's name and that, that little space alien's name and that woman? Uh, unadulterated horseshit for anybody who has gotten into the handbook for the new paradigm. Now, I am a big fan of the handbook for the new paradigm 
I have read it uh, cover to cover three times uh, by this fellow. I'm having, good Lord, I'm having a, a senior moment. This is how long I've been out of the rabbit hole. I cannot remember the author of the hand date green Daniel Green or David Green I anyway I uh, while I highly advise you read the handbook for the new paradigm uh, what was that dude's name good God, they say that name recall is the first thing to go when, uh, you know, Alzheimer's. I cannot believe that I cannot remember the name of the author of the handbook for new paradigm, for the new paradigm. Unfucking believable that uh, I, I, I knew that name as well as my own name. It's something... I think his last name might be Green, but it's completely irrelevant. So while the, the a lot of the information, not all of it, is information that any Doomer should read, uh, it, his claim, uh, that guy's claim that it was channeled by space aliens, unadulterated horseshit that that information in the handbook for the new paradigm that that dude got it uh, either directly from a space alien I have uh, also heard it was actually his wife who was doing the channeling and he was just kind of copying it down. That is also unadulterated horseshit. And I've heard a very interesting theory that he stole that information from basically from Billy Meyer. That it was, uh, and I, that is an interesting uh, theory that that was actually the handbook for the new paradigm actually came from the Billy Meyer uh, stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite ready to put the Billy Meyer uh, information. I, I, I'm, I'm one step away uh, by putting that in. A, of course, you, you know, why I love uh, Billy Meyer was uh, it was the overpopulation angle that Billy Meyer uh, I think his main message that he took away from uh, his space alien was that there's too goddamn many humans on the planet and uh, that it's quite easy to uh, figure out what the problem on this planet is. It is not too many space aliens. It's too many Earthlings. Uh, so maybe that's why I'm not rejecting Billy Meyer. The Seth Sessions, that's it. Seth. That, uh, now Seth, I mean I like some of the shit that Seth told that woman. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not debating the space aliens so much. I'm just saying anybody who believes that whatever that chick's name was who wrote about her Seth channeling, uh, I, I, I have some bad news for you. Uh, she that that information came out of her own earthling brain it had nothing to do with the space alien there, there there's nothing in those books on any level that suggests that uh, it, it, it came from space aliens so you can take the Seth channeling sessions 
and again like the handbook for the new paradigm you can keep some of the information and uh, reject where it came from this is this whole throwing the baby out with the bathwater uh, it, you know it's similar to Carlos Castaneda just because you believe correctly that Don Juan Matus was not a real character but was a product of Carlos Castaneda's very vivid imagination because Don Juan was not a real character doesn't mean that you need to throw out all of the uh, Carlos Castaneda information. Uh, this is why, you know, I, I've never understood humans' propensity to, to do shit like this, is that they, 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 they look at a body of information, a body of evidence, whatever it is, you know, with a uh, hundred thousand different facets of it, and one or two facets of the information does not, uh, you know, reinforce their pre existing beliefs, does not confirm their existing biases, they throw out. 100% of the information uh, that they're being given. I, you know, I, I've never understood this, and this is one thing in this uh, in this UFO and space alien literature. If you get down in it, I mean, anybody with any with one ounce of discernment and critical thinking coming up against this uh, preposterous sounding information uh, they're going to immediately reject the, the probably the majority of it is unadulterated horseshit correctly but that does not mean that the information is worthless. It, it, even if you read it as metaphor, uh, that how humans in, 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 in the, the these rationalist humans, they do not understand the language of metaphor. Uh, that metaphorical language does not necessarily compute to, uh, you know, being a, a lunatic. Uh, we need more metaphorical language. There's nothing wrong with speaking in metaphors, and uh, you better believe th th that... Uh, Good Lord, we can get into uh, Terence McKenna's spin or 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 Jung's uh, interpretation of UFOs. That UFOs are uh, a metaphor. The the whole UFO phenomenon uh, is, is metaphorical language. But uh, I see the clock is ticking and uh, I need to shut this down and what are we going to talk about next? I'll think of something. Bye guys.